Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. In my last tutorial, I taught you about a Fiverr gig idea where you would edit dating photos and advertise your services as a photo editor on Fiverr. However, in order to get hired for these types of jobs or in order to have clients pick your gig, it's really important that you have a really professional Fiverr gig image. So you can see here when I type in photo Tinder, these are all of the best selling Fiverr gigs for this topic. And you can see that these are all the different cover images. Some are really simple, like this is just a picture of the person's face. And others are a bit more professional and show a before and after like this one or this one. I'm going to teach you how to create two different types of gig images. And we're going to use Canva, which is completely for free. You can click on the link in the description below to get my referral link for Canva. So first of all, Let's go to the Fiverr help page, and this will show us the gig image guidelines that we need in order to create a gig image. So the recommended image size is 1280 by 769 pixels. So what you're going to do is go to Canva. Over here, you'll click on custom size, and you're going to put in 1280 by 769 pixels, then click create new design. And this is the size that we're going to work with for our gig cover image. If you scroll down, they have a whole list of different guidelines, but essentially we don't want to use too much text. This is an example of something that's okay and this is not okay. We want to make sure that all of our text is visible. We can include up to five different logos, but you want it to look nice. So this one, for example, all of these logos look better in this image than here. You don't want to put too many different samples of your work. It's better just to put one sample of work per image. And here's what we're going to do for one of our cover images is show our results. So we'll have a before and an after. So first we're going to do an example of a gig cover image for advertising your services as a photo editor, as I showed you in my last tutorial on Fiverr. What we want to do is click on elements. We're going to scroll down and go to grids and click see all. So you're going to choose this one here where there are two different boxes. And when you do that, what it does is it creates a spot that we can drop our before image and our after image. So you can use this as a template for any cover image where you're showing a before and after of your skills. And in order to upload the image, we'll click here on uploads, then click upload media and locate the before image, and then drag and drop it into the box. And then from here, you can double click it and adjust the size by dragging on the node so it's going to really zoom up on her face so we can see the before and after. Okay, and so now we have our before and now we're going to upload our after. So again, click upload media, upload the picture, and then drag and drop it into the second grid. And then double click and then drag on the nodes to resize it so it matches the first one. So it's nice and zoomed up on her face so we can see the before and after. And if you wanted to make any more edits to either of these images, you can click on the image, then go to edit image. And then here you could adjust the brightness and the contrast level a bit if you just wanted to make it stand out. So now you could upload it just like this, or you could add some text as well. So let's click on elements, click on the back icon, and we're going to go to lines and shapes. Just click on this square here. So from here, you can change the color by clicking on the color box and choose whatever color you want. And you can click and drag the size. So I'm gonna make this extend like that. And then you can even add text. So I'm going to put before, um, and then we can adjust the size could even adjust the font if you want to change the font type as well. And then click on it and right click copy, then right click paste, and then click and drag this over here and we have our after. Again, you can just click and drag on the nodes to adjust the size. You can even go on elements and add a logo. So you could type in Tinder, enter, and anything that has the little crown is pro. So these ones would be pro, but you could use this one, for example. This would be free if you don't have the pro account of Canva. I do, so I'm just gonna use this one. Again, click and drag. 
OK. And this would be an example of a perfect gig cover image because the people are seeing that this is what you can do. You can transform a photo that looks like this and airbrush it so it looks like this. And to download this gig cover image, click share, then click download, and then you can choose the file type. We'll just keep it at PNG, keep the size as it is, and click download. So this is our first example of a beautiful cover image that you could use with Fiverr. The second one I'm going to show you is one that would be for something like a social media assistant. You can see here, these people have used probably too much text. This I don't think is, um, and too many logos as well. But we're going to do something like this. We're going to go back to Canva. Again, we're going to choose custom size, put 1280 by 769, create new design. And this time we're going to use a template to make it even easier. So here you can click on templates and you can scroll down and use any of these templates. Even if it is a video, we can use that template. I'm going to type in media. Again, some of these are pro, but I'm going to show you a free one that you can use. We're going to scroll down till we see this one right here. We're going to click on that. You can see that it's automatically filling it out so it fits our dimensions of 1280 pixels by 769. First of all, you can change the color. If you want to change up uh, the background color of any of the elements, or you can click undo and keep it the same. So let's say we want to do one for a social media manager. Let's say we're going to put our name. Let's say Tyler Smith, social media marketing expert. Going to, if you want to erase any elements or any text, just click and click delete. We're going to erase this image of this woman and upload our own. We're going to go to uploads, upload media, upload the image you want to use, and then double click to add the image. And then what you can do is click on crop and you can crop the image. Um, and this is great if you don't have the premium version and can't erase the background, you could just do that. But if you have the premium version of Canva, you can click edit image, then click on background remover, and that will get us just his um, head and body. And then when that's done, we'll click apply. Okay, so you can click and drag if you want to make this a bit bigger. And again, we can click and drag on any of the elements that we want to move. So I want to make um, actually him a bit bigger like this. And then, for example, if I want this purple element to go on top, I can change the order by right clicking and bring to front and then do the same with his name. Again, you can change the font um, size as well. You can even change the letter spacing by clicking here. You can even click on this and click on the color wheel if we want to change um, the color use the drop tool, we can choose a color, and then you can put in whatever it is you're advertising. So social media, marketing manager, and virtual assistant. And you can change the color of the text, and change the text type as well. And you can adjust any elements that you want to change or click delete if you want to delete them. And if you want to add any logos, we can click here on elements and put in, for example, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc., etc. I think that looks really good. And when you're done, again, just click share, click download, and click download again. And you can see just how professional this looks in comparison to a Fiverr gig like this, where it looks like this woman doesn't have a lot of experience with graphic design, and this has even cut off the S in social media. Um, the one that we just created looks so much more professional, um, and I would be way more likely to hire someone like this with a really professional gig image than someone like this. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to create your own Fiverr gig images. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. Make sure to click on the description below to watch more tutorials related to Fiverr and graphic design, and I will see you in my next tutorial.